As South African survivors from the Nigerian church collapse return home, I'm joined on the line by News 24 Nigeria's Tony Smart, who's going to talk us through the situation in the country. Tony, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, uh, Jerusha. Uh, at the moment, the rescue operation has ended, and uh, according to the agency, you know, in charge of the rescue operation, NEMA, National Emergency Management Agency, they said they were able to recover 80 bodies. That of that's official, and 131 people were rescued from the, you know, from the from the crumbles of the of the collapse. But Another twist, you know, there was a twist to this, to the old uh, story on Saturday. Uh, a reporter, I don't want to mention his name now, you know, for, for reasons best known to you and I, uh, a reporter had actually alleged that the founder of the church, T.B. Joshua, you know, bribed, you know, in code now, bribed journalists that went to the site, you know, to get his, to get his story, to get a, a, an interview with him. He said, he, he said the money was actually meant for them to fill their, their, their cars. That's an even uh, the, the audio, the audio of the of the alleged bribery is 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 on is on is online. So that's another twist of it to the old story, to the old to the old story. Because it, you know there have been allegations that the the church was trying to prevent the rescue workers you know, from doing their job. That was you know, that was the story. That was the story on, on ground. So this is, a, this is a new twist now to the old issue, and you know it's a very serious allegation of a man of God, a so common of God, to be bribing journalists so as to you know, to favor him you know, in the past, you know, so as to write a good story about the church, not focusing mainly on the dead, but you know on the survivors. That was that was that, that was what they told the journalists to do. So it's a serious allegation, and the church has not actually come out, you know, to to to. To say, you know, to come out to say anything about it, you know, we are still waiting for the church, you know, waiting for a comment from the church. And as soon as we have that, we are going to, you know, get back to you guys. Thanks, Tony. We'll definitely check in with you to see any updates on that situation. A serious allegation, indeed. Now, I'll speak very, to us yes. about um, what's happening on the ground at the actual site of the church collapse. Are rescue teams still on the ground? As you said, it has. Um, the official rescue has ended, but surely there are people who are still unaccounted for. Uh, yes, the rescue officially has ended, but you know, normally you still see people, you know, uh, troop, trooping down to the site, you know, to see whether they can get anything on the site. But officially, the Lagos State government said it's done with rescue, you know, with, with the rescue uh, effort at the site. And from what we gathered, one thirty-one people were rescued, and eighty bodies were recovered from the site. So we are still waiting, you know, we are still, because they said the investigation is still ongoing, you know, to determine, you know, to, to, to determine what actually caused the collapse, whether it was due to the, to, to, to the faulty foundation of the building or some other, you know, some other uh, issues. But as soon as the investigation is, is concluded, they are going to you know, make it live, make it live. But some other issues we had was that some of the buildings you know in the premises in the church premises were marked you know by the by the uh rescue agency now some of the buildings were marked by the legacy government and as and what what we what what we verify is that as soon as a building is marked that means something is fundamentally wrong with the building it's that the foundation is not properly laid or you know maybe the the, the construction was not done properly or maybe they, they, they didn't get approval you know to construct such site but they, they, they've come out to say they might not close down the church for now, but as soon as they have you know, a concrete, uh, concrete uh, report on the, on the so-called uh, distressed building in, in the premises, you know, they will come out and give us a proper, you know, give us a proper uh, analysis of the, whole, of the whole investigation. Tony, speak to us about what the general sentiment is like on the ground in Lagos. Um, is this something that everybody is speaking about? Um, what is the general feeling of the public? Are memorials being erected near the church? Uh, well, at the moment, the, the general feeling, you know, people are still, you know, angry with the, with, the, with, the, with the church, you know, on the way they've handled the matter so far. You know, you know I said earlier that there was this private allegation, you know, with regards to the founder trying to, you know, to tip journalists. So people people are reacting in this, people are reacting very badly in the sense that is they, they, they believe the founder TB Joshua is trying to trivialize the whole issue. It's not it's not it's not actually taking the issue serious, you know. So they are, the people are angry that 
lives were lost in this building. Like, I'm even trying to trivialize the whole issue. Recently, he said he's going to go to South Africa, you know, to visit the families of the of the of the dead and the, and the survivors of the of the of the uh, building collapse, which I which I believe is a very good you know step in the right direction. But nonetheless, I think the whole issue has been you know, he has been able to you know kind of trivialize the whole issue. I don't think he's really taking you know the gravity of this uh, of this of, of the issue serious. But he's taking it serious. Because I don't see the reason why a man of God will be brought into you know, when it comes to matter of life and death. You know, people are people lives were lost in the, lost in this in this incident. And you're trying to make it look as if it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something serious. So the general feeling over here is very bad. People are complaining that if our people are you know, people are not saying how come the government allowed them to construct such buildings in the premises? Is it that they didn't get, is it that the government didn't check in you know, there were no there were no structural um, analysis before these buildings were constructed or what because no because I, the, the area where the church is located you know is a bit close to the airport so normally you're not supposed to erect a building as high as that on that on, on that ground so many questions have been raised at the moment and a lot of answers are not you know are not being given to given to the public. So there are so many issues, but the general feeling over here is very, very bad. People are hungry with the government, people are hungry with the with the, with the, with the church. And you know, that's 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 all for now. That's that general feeling.